Today we are going to talk about strong and weak beats. When you listen to a song, you can begin to notice that some beats are emphasized more than others. The beats that are emphasized are called strong beats. And beats usually, like 95% of the time, are going to be in patterns of strong and weak beats that are either two, three, or four. Meaning if they're in a pattern of two, it's going to go strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. And if they're in a pattern of three, it's going to go strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak. And if it's in a pattern of four, it's going to go strong, weak, 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 strong, weak, weak, weak. So today we're going to talk about those strong and weak beats. Like I said, beat one of the group is always the strong beat. It is always the beat that is emphasized the most. That's why it's called the strong beat. Any beat that isn't beat one in the patterns are the weak beats. So beat Beats two, three, or four, they are weak beats. We are going to listen to Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and I want you to try and figure out what is the pattern of strong and weak beats. I'm going to start it from the beginning. There we go. Did you figure it out? The pattern of strong and weak beats in taking me out to the ball game is three. Strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. So we are going to listen again. And this time I want you to clap on the strong beat and clap. On the weak beats. Are you ready? Good job. Good job. All right, now we are going to look at another song or listen to another song. This song is by a famous composer. His name is Bach. Bach was a German composer. He wrote lots and lots of music. Uh, we are going to listen to one of his pieces. It's called Musette in D Major. And we're going to try and figure out what is the pattern of strong and weak beats. Let's listen this first time. Okay, so the pattern of strong and weak beats in that song goes so strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So again, this one's fast. So we'll have to go fast, but we're going to pat on the strong beat and we're going to clap on the weak beat. You ready? Oh, I'm not ready. Now I'm ready. Here we go. That's quick. We say it has a fast tempo because tempo, remember, is the speed of the beat. The last song I have, oh, we have a we have a stray mouse here. The last song I have is Ain't No Mountain High Enough. And we're going to listen for the pattern of beats in this song. I love this song. Oh. This 
Okay. It's a good song. Did you guys figure out the pattern of strong and weak beats in that one? The beats are grouped in four. Strong, weak, weak, weak. Strong, weak, weak, weak. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to start the song over again. Pat on the strong beat. Clap on the weak beats. Right. Good job. That would be strong and weak beats. We will talk more about this in our next Zoom. I will see you there.